Unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this video about how to create a glowy skin using kind of luminous or I don't want to like dewy finishing powders I love this technique I've been using it so much lately and I, I just wanted to share and tell you how you can achieve this look as well if you have super dry skin you can just go with oils or liquid highlighters or anything like that but I have combination skin which means that I am pretty much dry here and I am pretty oily here and here so I don't want to use too much dewy oils or dewy liquid products because it's gonna create an oily mess after like 30 minutes and we don't want that so these products are perfect if you're like me if you have combination skin or somewhat oily skin I will get more oily skin when it comes into summer when it's warmer outside that's when my skin is like huh, need some powder so having like a glowy or dewy finishing powder could give you that dewy look on your skin without adding something that will make it all a hot mess after a couple of hours or even minutes Let's be honest, you've probably been hearing me talking about this powder in my favorites. I used it in a tutorial, I've been mentioning it on my Instagram and Snapchat. I just, I love this powder. This is the Laura Geller Filter Finish Setting Powder. Is it setting? Yes, yeah, setting powder. I use it as a finishing powder, I will tell you the difference. And this is in Universal, so there's only one color. And you see this looks like it's going to be color correcting. It's not. This is a somewhat translucent powder that you can use at the very last stage of your face makeup. I don't use this to set anything, I use this after I've set everything. Because I don't want to set my concealer with this, I will use my Laurel Mercier translucent powder or brightening powder, but then I will go over with this afterwards. It's, I mean, you can just see how brightening that is, and as you can see there's literally no color to it. And it is just a really brightening powder. I will of course not go in this heavy, but I will just use... I have things everywhere. I will use a brush like this. This is a tapered brush by Morphe. It is M509. I love this brush. I use this to brush away my bakage. I use this with this product and I brush it here. I brush it under my eyes and I go towards my temples. I brush it on my nose, all the way here and on my chin and sometimes even here. Because it just creates a luminous finish. It doesn't look sparkly. You don't look like a disco ball and you don't look like a Christmas ornament. You just look healthy and glowy and I love this powder. It's such an amazing powder. I also got this powder and I use this the exact same way. Why can't I open this? This is from MAC. This is from the new uh, Future Something MAC. I don't remember what collection this is. This is a mineralized skin finish in warm rose. This is in the same product family as, you know, soft and gentle, but this is not as sparkly. If you look closely, you can see it has a luminous finish with some shimmering sparkles in it. It's more of a pinky finishing powder so this probably won't work if you're any deeper than medium but this is the same as the Laura Geller one but it's a little less luminizing so this is good if you don't want to be that luminizing but it's it's just a really as you can see you can hardly see it but it's just a really nice luminous finishing powder and it creates a really great canvas if you want to look glowy and healthy but not sparkly and you don't want to be oily because there is a difference between being glowy and oily we all want to be glowy we don't want to be oily like no and i also want to talk about the product that that started it all this is the guerlain 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 i have read french for like five years and i have certainly no idea how to say this it's the meteorites 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 in english meteorites it is those little oh dear god it is those little pearls and they smell like violets and this is like the original glowy finishing powder it's the same technique as the MAC uh, warm rose I would say that this is the most dewy or glowy finish this is the second dewy finish and this is the least dewy finish but when I look at them now they all look really nice and luminous they're amazing this is the same you just dip your brush in it and you go over like the parts that you want to be a bit more luminous and it will just create such a nice 
surface. Also another powder that's in the same family is this new Wet n Wild mosaic or, or geometric powder. That's what it's called. It says that it's a highlighter but I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be used like this, like a finishing powder all over the face. So if you get these or that one, don't use it as a highlighter. That's not that's not how it's supposed to be used. It's supposed to be used as a glowy, dewy finishing powder all over the face if you want to have a dewy finish but you don't want to work with oils. Another product that's really cool is this Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation. I got mine in Fair. Oh, let's not blind you there. Uh, it is a powder foundation, but if you want to go for full coverage, you can always use a powder foundation as your setting powder or as your finishing powder. This is actually something as rare as a glowy foundation powder that is not loose. You know the foundation powders like the mineral powders that you get in the jars? They are often quite luminous, almost too luminous, but this is something as rare as a luminous powder that is pressed and it is a baked powder and you can see that this has some kind of marbling going on but I mean, when you put it together it just looks really nice. I had this on the other day this is quite a new product to me though, but it does give a really healthy glow to the face and I use this on its own without any foundation under and I still think it gave quite a nice light to medium coverage and it looked natural. So it wasn't as flat as some powder foundations can be. This was more a natural satin finish which I love. So if you want to try the glowy look but you feel like the oils and the liquid products are just too much. Just go with your normal routine and then just finish with something like this or this or if you feel pricey you can finish with something like this and you will have that glowy natural healthy look right away. It's what I have on my face today. I'm using this one, uh, well the places that I showed you. I love the way it looks and I really wanted to share this tip if there's someone like me that loves the look but doesn't love how glowy products look on your skin after a bit because if you have oily skin or combination skin they usually break up on you and they do on me too so this is the best new technique that I've learned in a really long time and I wanted to share. Please let me know what you think about this new technique. Have you tried it before? Do you want to try it? Do you have any other products that could fit into this group of things and I think that was it for this time. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for commenting and liking. Makes me really happy. If you're not subscribed you should because I do upload two or three times a week depending on how much other stuff I have to do. <laughs> Thanks again. I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>